Welcome to episode 17 of Celtic Sagas and Law. In this episode I'd like to do a inverted commas zombie story. Um, not exactly what you associate with Celtic culture but there are a few tales of animated corpses. Probably the most famous by far is that one of Teague O'Kane, an Irish story, uh, one of the moral telling stories. There's various versions of it but the basic outline of the story is that there was once a young man uh, called Teague Kane and his father was very wealthy. <clears throat> so due to this, Keane had never done a day's work in his life and he was uh, liked his drinking and his gambling and playing cards and what have you. He was also a bit of a ladies' man. <clears throat> and one fateful day he wooed the um, daughter of one of the um, workers of his father, a girl called Mary and he got her in the family way and as they did back then they were to be uh, he should be married so uh, Teague's father said to him you have to marry that girl and Teague was saying I'll have nothing of it it's like being a slave like being a slave to be married to that girl I will not run her I will run off to run off and his father says you will do no, no such thing so he told uh Teague that uh, the next morning he was to go and to ask uh, Mary's father for a hand in marriage to make an honourable lady of her not to disgrace and dishonour himself the girl or his father so Teague agreed reluctantly but in the night he decided to do, uh, do a runner so he packed a bag and he climbed at the window in the middle of the night and he decided to run as he was running down the road he could hear laughter in the hedges beside the side of the road he got a bit worried. So he started to hear the laughter and he was following him, getting closer. Then seven little men jumped out in front of him and Teague was paralysed with fear and he could not move. And they asked him where he was going. And he said he was going to see his friends in the city. Probably Dublin, but in various stories there's different, sto- different, um, different versions. And he said, but what about Mary? Aren't you going to marry Mary? And he said... And with this he gained a bit of courage he said no it'll be like being married it'll be weighed down with the dead weight and not having it oh, you know nothing of dead weight Teague and O'Kane he said how do you know my name we know everything about you you must not dishonour Mary and all of a sudden he felt arms around him cold dead arms and they said that is a corpse and it must rest now you know about being tied down and being a slave. And the corp whispered in his ear, Take me to my grave. And he was petrified. And the little man gave him a shovel and a candle and told him, Head to the graveyard, bury our friend so he may no rest. The was petrified and he was calling to all the saints and to the Christian God, Save me, save me. And the corp said, go on to the churchyard so they arrived to the village and the cop said unless you are buried by morning you and I will never know rest and we shall be damned for eternity so they got to the graveyard and Teague found a grave and he started to dig as they dug down they came across a coffin and the coffin opened and another cop said this is my place of rest be gone or you shall be damned for eternity so Terror Krieg filled in the coffin. And the cop said to him, tightening his grip more, then find me another grave. So they headed to the next village, and with tea crying the coffin, he was weighed down and he was sweating and panicking with fear. And they arrived in another graveyard, and this time they found an open grave. So they started to fill it in, and the voice said in the darkness, That is my grave, I am to be buried there tomorrow. And Teague in a panic run with the corpse around his neck. And he realised he'd left the shovel behind. He said to the corpse, I cannot dig. He said, head for the next village. So they headed for the next village. <clears throat> and with that they started to hear the cock starting to crow. And Teague was frightened. And with his bare hands he dug a hole in the graveyard. And as the first rays of the sun was starting to come up, the corpse let him go and climbed into the grave and sighed and creaked filled in the grave and thanked all the saints and the Christian God for his deliverance and with that he headed home and his father was starting to arisen and at the first light dawn to work the farm they asked him where he'd been 
So he told his father the story. His father said, you can see, Marge is not that bad. Mary is a lovely girl. She will bear you many children and make a good wife. And Teague heartily agreed. I hope you enjoyed that story and I hope to catch you again in episode 18. And thanks for listening.